do it. Don't no, don't go in there. Don't go in there. Oh wait, <laughs> I can choose. Don't go in there. Page one hundred and thirteen. Let's see. Uh, oh crap. <laughs> Welcome to Targa's Reviews. Today it's not a board game, but it's a game. It's a book actually. Do you remember those times when you had your choose your own adventure games or books? Well, it's back. But now, we have beautiful illustrations inside. So, how does that work? And is it only fun or is it a good? It totally depends on the story and the graphics, right? Well, let's dig in and find out. Hello. This episode is brought to you by my excellent Patreon supporters at patreon.com slash takras. Thank you so much for all your support. And if you just get some more now, Eventually, we can get games that you want to have reviewed. <laughs> that will be really exciting. Well, okay, anyway, back to the, the board game. No, the review. As you see by the cover, it's a crime story. It's very ominous, right? And here, on the cover, you have the rules. Very simple, just one page. And here you can fill in the stats. So you probably need some paper to print out on Boarding Geek and fill it out with your stats, and they will be uh, reference to during the book. So, depending on your values here, you might do A or B in the book. So, we're just going to start here with the story. The story starts like this. There's a girl walking, and she's been kidnapped. This girl happens to be your daughter, so she is a captive. So you travel out on a motorcycle to this big mansion. I'm just going to skip ahead here. It's no spoilers really, because well, it's the beginning. And then we come here to frame number one. And already you see you have a choice. Go to picture frame 49 or 25. And on the bottom here you can see all the frames on each page. And these are all numerical, so it's very easy to, to look up. And you see here, these images here are not related at all. They're not in any pattern and don't belong anywhere. So. If you look here, you get nothing, no information. You need to go here or here. So already now, you decide the story, just like Choose Your Own Adventure. When you come to frames with this uh, hourglass or sand timers here, you need to note it down on your paper, here. And if you ever come back to the same frame you've already been before, you have to do it again. Yeah, you're wasting valuable time. And the timer's out, it's game over. Your daughter is probably dead. Well then, as you might guess, I can't talk too much about this book without spoiling anything, because it is a book. And as a book, it has a limited playthrough, or replayability. And that being said, it is a book, okay? But if you read it once, and you manage to complete it for some bizarre reason, you really don't know what it's all about. Yeah, you completed the story in one way, but there are many ways to complete it. Yeah, this book contains many variations and ways to get to the end. And I'm, I'm genuinely curious on how, how many paths there are. At one point I wanted to make an Excel, or, uh, Excel sheet and put in all the numbers and make the optimal route just to find the best solution and all solutions, but I didn't do that. But I really wanted to because I'm, I'm genuinely, interested in, genu genuinely interested in what's What's the story here? And I see when I flip through it now, there are many places I haven't been yet. And I completed it three times and died a gazillion times. And when you die in this book, it says start over. And yeah, I'm just gonna go back to the previous frame and choose something else, right? I do that sometimes, but it's up to me. You know, it's my story, it's my, my choice. But if you want to start over, you will realize there are many choices on the way that, that will lead you to different places, and that is awesome. Uh, all these pictures have uh, great graphics uh, for what it is. It is uh, a very mysterious and dark uh, theme to it, so each frame is only a couple of colors. It's like, it's like a, a, a black and white uh, image with a colored tone over it, and it really brings forth the atmosphere uh, to it. And I think they have managed to get it very well done throughout the book and as you, as you gain, gain um, as you come in near the end the pictures become more red and red and uh, you notice that you are nearing the end and 
in the beginning it's just uh, greenish and it becomes more red as you go and if something bad happens it might go yellow and so, so all the colors are consistent uh, so, but I can't spoil it for you. Uh, the thing is, it is a book, it is a choose your, choose, it is choose your own adventure, and if that is not for you, you won't like it. But if you really miss those days, and you like the horror genre, then this will absolutely please you. And yeah, it, it has a limited availability, but once it's been on the shelf a year or two, you can put it back uh, just like a normal book, and you'll miss, uh, you've forgotten some details that you did, and choices, and you have a new experience the next time you go, and it's a really nice book. And it's you can, of course you can loan it to someone and ask them how they fared in it. And yeah, I, I can recommend this one. It is a good book, and uh, I'm going to keep it this one after I've lent it to someone and asked them how they fared. <laughs> yeah, you get you get the picture. So I like the idea, I like the concept, I like the graphics, and I won't talk any more now. I'm just going to say this is a good recommendation for me. Okay, thanks for watching and. Well, have fun reading. See ya. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff, in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com.